32, more than 6 million women took to the assembly line, building and piecing together bomber planes during World War II. Yeah, and they became known as the Rosies. And a Nebraska woman was part of that effort. Today, she and dozens of others are being honored at the White House. For more on that, we turn to KTV News Watch 7's Kaylee Searcy, who's live in studio. Jack and Melissa, because of their dedication, sacrifice, and ultimate bravery, they're receiving the Congressional Gold Medal, the highest award a U.S. citizen can receive. Now, it dates back to 1942 when women like Lila Tomek assembled 25,000 parts to construct planes used in the war, like this one, a B-29 built at the Glen Martin assembly plant, now a part of Offutt Air Force Base. It's called the Enola Gay, also known as the plane that helped end World War II. So accidentally, you know, she made history. All these women yeah. did. Yeah, what we're talking here is my story, and I'm only one of thousands that work there. Millions, so, yeah. So that's what I, I don't want people to think I'm a big hero. I'm not a hero at all. <laughs> well, she is to me. <laughs> I just was doing my job. And Lila is in Washington, D.C. right now, ahead of the ceremony where she and 29 other Rosies will represent the millions of women who stepped into action. Back to you.